Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to learn about log and ilog function of pandas. So here we have a data frame named df and it contains some information about different countries. So let's get started. We'll start the log function. So basically what log does is it uses the values in index to select any given values inside the data frame. So here we have our index. This index contains the names of different countries. I have done this specifically while creating this data frame because log only works when you have the labels in the index. So keep that in mind. You should have the labels in index for log to work. So using these labels, we can select any given row. Let's say we want this row, Japan. We want its GDP and its population. So inside this log function, we can simply put Japan and we'll get its GDP and its population. Now let's say we want the same values for multiple countries. So we can put a list inside this log function and inside that list we can specify all the labels for which we want the values. So let's say we want GDP and population for USA and Japan. So we can run this by hitting control enter and we'll get the GDP and population for Japan and USA. Now, how can we select specific columns? Or, or doing that, we can simply put a comma and specify the column that we want. So let's say we want the GDP column. So we can run that. Now, not only this, using this function, we can slice values. Now, what do we mean by slice values? Now, let's say I want GDP population only for the values from USA to Japan. So, what I can do is, so first I'll put USA and then I'll put a colon and I'll put Japan there and then I can leave colon for the column. This column, what, what it will do, it will select each and every column. If you want to select each and every row or each and every column, you can simply put a colon over there so using this command i'll get the gdp and population for every country from usa to japan so let's run it so here we have so that's how we can use the log function of pandas now let's talk about iLog. Now iLog is very similar but instead of labels we can select the values using their position. So the position starts with 0 and it goes numerically order. So from 0 we have 0 for USA, 1 for China, 2 for Japan and so on. So if I put iLog 0 will give me it will give me the first row similarly if i put one over here i'll get the values for china so here i'm getting gdp and population for china for india it is in fourth place from zero one two three four so if i put four here i'll get the same values for india 
Now, just as in case of lock or I lock also, we can specify using a list. So, when I run this, I'll get the values for China and Japan because they are in position 1 and 2. Now, let's say I want only population column for these values. So, again, I'll put a comma and the population, it is in one position because the order again starts from zero. So, GDP is in zero position and population is in one position. So, I'll type one over here. So, here we have the population for China and Japan. Now, again, we can slice values using iLog. So, I'll put 1, then colon 4 in the second position. Let's say I just want the population. So, I'll put 1. And when I run this, So here I have the population for China, Japan and Germany. 